Hi everyone, it's Katrina. From mysterious carvings in sacred ancient cities to the first pyramids on Earth, here are 11 incredible finds scientists can't explain. Number 11. The City of Girzu The ancient city of Girzu is thought to have been first inhabited around 6,500 years ago and at one point became the capital of the Lagash Kingdom, a very important Sumerian city. It was the first place to provide evidence of the amazing Sumerian civilization. Located in southern Iraq between the Tigris and Euphrates rivers, excavations of the Sumerian site began in 1877. Amongst the artifacts that were found at the site, such as stone sculptures and silver ornaments, there were as many as 40,000 cuneiform tablets, which offered a wealth of information about the little-known Sumerian civilization. Unfortunately, most of the ruins at Girzu were systematically looted, and many of the tablets were stolen to be sold on the black market or to private collections before archaeologists were able to take them to safety. Only around 4,000 were ever officially uncovered by archaeologists. Translating them has, however, proved to be difficult because the carvings represent a form of written language unlike anything else that has been found. With just a small fraction of the entire collection being available to study, it's still not been possible to decipher most of the texts more than 100 years after they were unearthed. Those that can be read are archives with records of possessions, such as how many sheep and cattle each farmer owned. But there's hope that some of the clay tablets have more interesting information. Could they hold the secrets to the long-lost civilization? And might they explain what happened to the residents of the city and why it seems to have been evacuated in the 2nd century BC? We might only truly find out once some of the missing ones are finally returned. Some other mysterious artifacts found were the statue of Gudea, the king priest of Lagash carved in diorite, which was carved in a style that was unknown to Mesopotamia at that time. There are many statues of him and his deep religiousness and achievements. Other statues were also found of the goddess Bao, a Babylonian goddess of healing. Number 10. The Klerksdorp Spheres As far as we know, humans have only been on this planet for around 200,000 years, but occasionally a discovery is made that forces us to rethink everything we know. One of the most mysterious artifacts of all time are the Klerksdorp Spheres. Hundreds of these round objects have been found by miners near Ottostel in South Africa. Collected from pyrophyllite deposits around 3 billion years old, they are often cited as out-of-place objects. There was a story that a man brought one of the spheres to NASA. After NASA tested the stone, they said that the only way this stone could be created was in zero gravity because its balance was too perfect to be created on Earth, and the spheres were harder than steel. It is hard to verify any of these claims, of course, but pseudo-archaeologists use these as an example that intelligent beings roamed the Earth billions of years ago and made these spheres for military or religious purposes. Perhaps the spheres were an ancient form of information technology. They range from half a centimeter to 10 centimeters in size and are not actually perfectly round. They vary in shape from flattened spheres to well-defined disks. Geologists and scientists argue that these spheres are a result of natural processes. They show how voids can be created in the Earth by bacterial activity, and once they are subsequently filled in with hot rock due to volcanic activity, they act as molds for structures like these. They are mostly composed of hematite and pyrite and originated as concretions like many other strange spherical shapes found around the world. So were they formed naturally or were they made by ancient beings in the past? If that's the case, then how did they end up in a deposit that's so old? And is this proof that there was an ancient civilization that existed far earlier than anyone had thought? Let me know what you think in the comments below. Number 9. Ranmasu Uyana Within the ancient sacred city of Anuradhapura in Sri Lanka is a 40-acre garden called Ranmasu Uyana. It's full of monuments and structures that date back as far as the 3rd century BC. But there is one thing in particular that has confused scientists ever since it was first seen, a carving on a rock that appears to depict an unusual chart-like map that's called the Stargate. A stargate is believed to be a gateway between the Earth and outer space and is how humans and other intelligent beings communicate. Opposite the stargate are four seats, and it's been suggested that people would sit in these where they could manipulate the map and use it to travel vast distances to other worlds in the universe. It's said to be similar to other engravings that have been found in Egypt and Peru, and there are some that believe that they are evidence of an extraterrestrial presence on Earth. 
They would come and take resources such as gold back to their home planet. Each of these stargates has been found near a large body of water, which in the case of Ranmasu Uyana is a series of ponds that are maintained by a complex hydraulic mechanism. So could this be an ancient technique? Of course, the fact that this is the prevailing theory is evidence of how little we truly know about these carvings and the cultures who made them. It's much more likely that there's a more down-to-earth explanation for them, but as of yet, no one has any clue what it might be. Number 8. Statue with Worm The Medici Chapel in Florence, Italy are two structures in the Basilica of San Lorenzo dating back to the 16th and 17th centuries. They are three burial places built to honor the Medici family, but the highlight is Michelangelo's new sacristy. The entire room was designed by Michelangelo himself over a 14-year period to honor four members of the Medici family who had died. Michelangelo spent his teen years with the Medici, and as he built the chapel, he reflected on his life. As he turned 50, he wrote that he was feeling old, tired, and depressed. While all of this is interesting and sculptures and art impressive, one of the strangest things ever is this statue of Roman armor with some sort of strange creature coming out of the neck. Located in a hallway right before Michelangelo's new sacristy, this statue is very hard to understand. Is it a torso with sleeves? Is it an armor breastplate? People have described the thing in the neck as a worm or even a caterpillar, but perhaps if you look at it differently, it might also be the top of a spinal cord. There is very little information about this sculpture, so if you have any guesses as to what it is and what you think the thing represents, let us know in the comments below. Number 7. The Kola Peninsula Pyramids the most famous pyramids in the world are undoubtedly the ones in Egypt, but many pyramids have been found across the planet after being built by various ancient civilizations. The oldest known pyramid, however, isn't in Egypt or South America like you might think, but it's actually in Russia on the Kola Peninsula. At first, it appears like this is just an image of the landscape, but the closer you look at the mountains, the more clear it becomes that these have been made by hand. They are step pyramids and by some accounts are almost twice as old as the ones in the Giza necropolis. The Kola Peninsula is actually full of evidence of an ancient society, and besides the pyramids, there are a series of labyrinths also carved into the ground. Very little is known about the people who made them, especially as the region is virtually entirely within the Arctic Circle and is therefore extremely cold and often covered in ice. Some experts believe that the Kola Peninsula is the true birthplace of humanity. To the Greeks, Hyperborea was a faraway land where the sun shone for six months a year and would have been a perfect country. The Hyperboreans may have been a highly developed society, with some saying they knew the secret of atomic energy and how to build flying machines. The discoveries from the Kola Peninsula may confirm the idea that early humans came from the north, and some sort of catastrophe forced them to migrate. The purpose of these pyramids is unclear. They don't appear to be burial sites like other places like this, but are instead thought to be markers for ancient sailors or for use in religious rituals. Until further artifacts are discovered, we may never know much about the people who once lived here, and it remains one of the greatest archaeological mysteries of our time. Number 6. Medieval Sword This sword, which dates from the 13th century, was found in the River Witham in the UK in 1825, but despite almost 200 years of study, it's still unclear who made it or what the letters on it mean. It's 38 inches long, weighs 2 pounds and 10 ounces, and is made of steel. It's double-edged, so it was clearly designed to be used in battle, but on one side is a mysterious inscription that's been made from gold wire that was inlaid into the steel. What this code means is completely unknown, and the British Library has even reached out to the public for any help with deciphering it, so if you have any ideas, let us know! There have been suggestions that it might be an incantation to bring good fortune to whoever wields it, or it could simply be the name of the person who commissioned the sword. What do you think it says? Or what would you write on a sword? Let me know in the comments below. Number 5. The Concho Stone The Concho Stone is a mysterious slab of rock that's covered in carvings from the Stone Age. It was originally found in Scotland in 1887, but was buried in 1965 to protect it from vandals. The stone was only recently uncovered again, and despite archaeologists knowing far more than they did back then, it's still not clear what the purpose of this stone was. It's regarded as one of the most important historical treasures in Scotland and is more than 5,000 years old. It measures 42 feet by 26 feet, and there are more than 90 spirals, indentations, and other carvings that include a ringed cross and what appear to be a pair of four-toed feet. The cup and ring symbols have been found at other Neolithic sites around Europe, and while they're thought to possibly be location markers, no one's certain. Was this simply a signpost, or did it have a much greater significance to the people who created it? Number 4. Stone Face 
When Tom Gibbons, a farm owner from North Carolina, arranged for one of his fields to be plowed in 2019, he didn't expect to find anything unusual. After all, this field had been used for as long as he could remember, but suddenly his farmhand hit a rock in the ground. Not thinking anything of it, he dug the rock out and threw it to one side so he could continue his work. But when Gibbons walked past and saw it, he realized it was more than just a rock. Measuring two feet long by one and a half feet wide, he brushed off the dirt and found to his amazement that it was a stone carving of a face. He contacted the local archaeological institute to try to find out more about it, but they were as surprised as he was. They had no idea when it was made or who would have created it, as nothing else like it has ever been found in the state. They took scans of it and found that it was made from sandstone, and so far all they've been able to do is post the images online in the hope that someone may come forward with more information. Could this be an ancient carving from a long-lost community or something else? Until more objects like it are found, we may never know. Number 3. The Pyramid of Djoser The pyramids at Giza are known around the world for their magnificence, but they wouldn't have been possible if it wasn't for the construction of another pyramid, the first the Egyptians ever constructed at Saqqara. It was built around 4,700 years ago and is known as the Pyramid of Djoser, or Zoser, after the Egyptian king from the Third Dynasty. The design of the step pyramid was attributed to Imhotep, the pharaoh's chancellor or vizier who became famous for his accomplishments. More people remember him than many of the country's rulers. He was also the high priest of the sun god Ra, and it's quite likely that his true agenda behind the construction of the pyramid was for religious purposes and not as a burial place for his master. As a historical figure, we know very little about him, but following his death, he became deified and people honored him as a great author. The structure is 197 feet tall, contains 11.6 million cubic feet of stone and clay, and sits on top of an underground labyrinth of tunnels that stretch around three and a half miles long. There are also a number of dummy buildings designed to trick potential thieves and passageways that seem to lead to nowhere. Could it be possible that there's far more to learn about this site and that there are many more secrets hidden within it? Many believe so, and it could hold the key to understanding how the pyramids were built and what their true purposes were. Number 2. The Wari Civilization In Peru's Huanta province, at an altitude of more than 9,000 feet, lies the ruins of Wari, what was once the capital city of the Wari Civilization. They ruled the area approximately approximately between the years 500 and 900, and researchers have managed to learn a lot about them. There is evidence, for example, that the stone structures here were once covered in a layer of white plaster, so it would have looked incredible as the sun's light reflected off, but there are some mysteries among the rubble too. The first is a collection of elongated skulls that are yet to be identified. It's thought that they are the result of a ritual practice that saw people's heads being bound from a young age that causes the skulls to form differently to normal, but without further evidence, it's impossible to know for sure. The other mystery can be seen in a number of rocks across the site. They have grooves and circular holes cut into them, but it's not clear what their purpose was. It would represent a significant technological advancement for a Bronze Age civilization to be able to make these, and they almost look as if they connect together to make pipes. Right now, any theory is just guesswork, and it's hoped one day further clues will be found that solve the mystery once and for all. Number 1. The Sabu Disk In 1936, Egyptologist Walter Brian Emery was exploring the 5,000-year-old tomb of Sabu when he found something very unusual. Now known as the Sabu Disk, it's 24 inches in diameter and up to 4 inches thick, and has been made from an extremely fragile material called Meta Siltstone. Using this material to form complex shapes would be difficult with modern technology, let alone what was available at the time this was created, so you have to wonder how and why this was made. There are no concrete explanations, but one of the more interesting suggestions is that this was used to harness megalithic energy and could have been a form of battery. By placing water into the three lobes, it's believed by some that it could have interacted with cosmic microwave background energy from throughout the universe and created a circuit. If this is true, then it would show that the ancient Egyptians were far more technologically advanced than we ever thought, and in some ways had access to technology beyond what we have today. It could of course have simply been a ceremonial bowl used to share a drink or an offering to the gods, so until others are found or the instructions are discovered, it'll likely remain the source of debate for many years to come. Thanks for watching! Which mystery was your favorite? Do you have any answers to these? Let me know in the comments below and be sure to subscribe if you haven't already! See you next time! Bye!